Hey everybody, Izumi here, back again already with another Sinmara video. This time I'm going to just auto it since I got the character meant for this. So first up is going to be Rat God Canoe. I'm just calling her Canoe from now on. And next is going to be Elsa. And right in the middle is Star Saint Noah, who is actually very useful in a lot of things anymore. And Ipsum. And last but definitely not least, my newest character, Axe Maiden, Alicia. So happy to have one of these. And, you know, Alicia is just great. That fire element wall really helps keep your team alive. Um, she gives herself water ring and she hits one, two, three times. So, not to mention that actually could be useful for Arena in certain situations, but. Frostburn is not really that great of a CC for Arena, so. Just depends on who you're up against. Alright, let's go. So we got back again with Sinmara. Um, we're just going to go over it all again. She's in the melee row, she's grounded, and she's Yotun. Her action skill hits the front enemy row with fire attack damage. And Fire Wound for three turns that affects Humans, Therians, and Yotun. Her auto skill also hits all player parties with Fire Attack damage, Flame Bound for three turns, and Flame Chain for three turns. And those affect Aesir, Therian, and Beast, both of them. She also gives herself with her auto skill Fire Element damage 30% up for three turns. That can be pretty dangerous. Combined with the Fire Ring that she, I'm going to tell you about in a little bit. And she also has Abyss Boost Flame. So, pretty much, you're going to only want to hit her with water damage or it's going to make her stronger. So, neutral neutral damage or water damage only. A except for the rare cases like with my other video where you could have used Voxy. So, yeah. keep Just keep it in mind. Uh, next, we're going to go to the armor, which is in the melee row, is grounded, and is also Yotun. So, again, her, the armor and Sinmara are pretty much, as far as what row they're on, and they're both grounded, and they're both Yotun. So, you can really take advantage of that with ground killer and Yotun killer. Alright, so, the armor on the first HP bar gives Sinmara 20% attack up for three turns and Berserk for three turns. All right, and this, this that that's bad enough by itself, but on the second and third HP bar, he does the same thing, attack 20% up for three turns, Berserk for three turns, as well as Fire Ring for three turns. So that Fire Ring combined with Sinmara's already that she gets already from her auto skill, the fire element damage 30% up. She can nuke you if, she, if you get hit in a certain situation. So she can pretty much one-shot certain characters with that. If she has, you know, the element boost, the berserk, and fire ring at the same time, as well as attack 20% up. So you need to get rid of the armor as quick as possible. And next up is going to be the Hawk. The Hawk isn't as bad. It does hits all of the enemies with Fire Wound for three turns. And the two enemy with the lowest HP gets hit with Fire Attack damage and Defense and Magic Defense 20% down both for three turns each. So, going to debuff you pretty heavily there. So if you get debuffed and you get hit with the Fire Element damage up, the Berserk and the... A fire ring at the same time it like I said really can one shot so you gotta be careful I've had my rat god on here get just like 
almost full health bar and just boom dead all right so um <clears throat> sorry about my voice here today um another good uh, some other good ones you can use are going to be kururu starblade senna summer dl vindicator gradius um Isif, like i used in my other video morphia would be probably fairly decent um Cilicia would work pretty good too the spirit priestess and maybe even Rovaria. and it looks like some people are even using voxy for that so all right we're gonna look at the damage here looks like ipsum did the most this time so thank you for watching